follow along, do now, and test breakdown. Let's get to the business. Hello, students. Hope you guys having a good day so far. Um, on this video, uh, y'all do now is embedded in the video. That's why I gave y'all the white sheets of paper first. So on this next segment, just listen to what I'm asking you and answer the question. That's how you're going to get your first uh, grade cam grade. And then we'll transition from there. And we are going to do a follow along video with the breakdown of the test that we took um, these last couple of days. So I can really show y'all how to take these tests and, and just, just start making uh, higher grades on them. So uh, stay tuned. Next segment is your do now. So let's go ahead and um, get ready for your white paper because you're going to have to really listen and write down. Bye. Man, this bread hot. Look at how this bread is. 349. Four, anyway, students, your first question. What, cop, what um, biomolecule could this be? And what is this function? And then what is the building block? So what is this function? What is, what is it? What is this biomolecule? What is its function? And uh, what is the building block of it? What makes it? Student, what is the biomolecule? What's its function? And what's its building block? If you're looking at this, these good old chocolate brownie cookies right here. What's the biomolecule? What's the function? What's this building block? What makes it? Students, we don't need Raymond noodles out here. Biomolecule, function, and building block. What is it? Let me know something. Let me know something. Students, what is the biomolecule, the function, and the building blocks of what I'm looking at right now? Biomolecule, function, and building blocks of what I'm looking at right now. The good frying oil. Students, what's the biomolecule that I'm looking at right now? What's the what's the function? What's the building block? And what is it uh, composed of? Right? The function, the building block, and what it's composed of. We eat good old sausages every time. You know what I'm saying? Every time we out here. That's what I like to cook with right there. Hey students. Alright, let's break down the test. This is this is question number one. All you had to understand was enzyme. All you had to do was circle that and they let you know it's tied to protein. Literally. You didn't have to worry about the shapes, how they going, how they break down. All you had to do was look at and read the question twice, underline enzyme. Enzyme is connected to protein because that's what we learned in class. And then your answer choice should have been C. All right, students, on question number two, you had to read the question twice. The thing that should have stuck out was saccharides or disaccharides or, mono, or polysaccharides, which mean many, that mean two. We already learned that. But saccharides just means another fancy word for sugar. So as you can see, I made a mistake on question eight because I was working fast and I tried to mark lipids, stores energy, but that's not what it do. If I'd have read the questions and followed my own rules, I'd have, know, I'd have seen that they are carbohydrates that store energy, okay? So the answer choice should have been D. Saccharides, saccharides is your key, right? All right, students, on question number three, literally, all you had to do was make sure that you knew your biomolecules and the function that goes with them. And then, I, as you can see, what I did, I went through lipids, does not store genetic information in A. So I put an X where all the ones that's improperly match until I got all the ones with a check. And then that would have told you what your answer is. But if you did not know your biomolecules and their function, this question was would have been extremely, extremely hard. All right? And it said accurately, accurately, uh, accurately, um, link the biomolecules with the correct function. So literally it's like, did you know your functions or not, all right? All right, number four, we read the question twice. The only word that should have popped out to you that we talked about was genetics. And genetics is directly linked with nucleic acids. That's basically it, all right? Nucleic acids linked to genetics, and then we good. All right, guys, question number five. It looks like a lot of reading. We didn't have to know about triglycerides and uh, glycogen, none of that. Again, if y'all would have followed the process that I told you, all we had to do was read the description and get the similarity. Similarity just means the same thing or what they got in common. So if you're reading in triglycerides, the word that should have popped out was fats, and you know it stores. And then you're reading gly glycogen, carbohydrates popped out, and it's quick source of energy. So the answer should have been D, both store energy used by the organism. You know. Both don't have, both don't use the structure. Both don't use genetic information, and then both act as catalysts. Now, 
And then, uh, so the answer should have been D, but you got to be able to pull that information out. You didn't have to know what a triglyceride was or anything like that. You just, again, had to know your biomolecules and the function. All right. All right. Number six could have threw you off if you didn't see the big word that said except. So all of these are proteins. Uh, I mean, all of these are functions of proteins except provides energy. You know, proteins don't provide energy. So you didn't even have to read the rest of the answer to us at that point. Because A was the answer because you know uh, proteins don't provide energy, but lipids and carbohydrates do. And so all the rest of them were co exactly correct. All right, guys, number seven. If we're looking at it, which of the food, which would an individual eat the fat, I mean the food shown in the food label below? So if you're looking at it, I circled total fat, which is lipids. I don't have any. I also circled protein. I don't have any. The th one thing that I do got is carbohydrates. And I got 17 grams of it. So, and, and carbohydrates don't store energy. They are quick energy or, or the, the first energy that's used by the body. So, again, you had to know your functions. And then that let you know it stores for quick energy. They don't build muscle. They don't strengthen the cell membrane. And they don't store energies for use. Okay? For use. All right. Me and Miss me me LaSalle, the other biology teacher, man, we, she, she helped break this down for me so I can help break it down for you because it... it it looked like it's not a lot of work, but I was looking at it like in a different way because you know we know a lot of biology. But carbohydrates are more easily metabolized than lipids. Okay, so we know what carbohydrates are, we know what lipids are. However, it's the word that separates the uh, the sentence. All right, one on a gram from gram basis that that don't even matter. That's a, that's a distractor. They threw that in there. Lipids provide. Lipids provide, okay, so what do lipids provide? They provide energy. They don't provide nitrogen. They don't provide protein or structure. They provide energy, okay? So that was a short question that had a, you had to think a little bit about, okay? So lipids provide energy. And then there's your answer. All right, we're looking at question number nine. Again, we did this activity in class. If I'm reading it, the thing that pops out to me is it provides quick and available energy but a few calories. So you got to get something that got the quick and available energy, which is the carbohydrates, with the fewest amount of calories. Literally, all you had to do was circle the number of calories and the number of carbohydrates and then compare the four. Whichever had the most the most uh, carbohydrates with the least amount of calories was your answer. So D was your answer. All right, number 10. We're looking at an advertisement of dog food, but we don't care about any of that. It said, what do the dog food supposed to do or the, or the, or the food, po the supplement supposed to do? It said, supposed to build lean muscle. So what builds lean muscle? Protein. That's why I put that arrow with the protein up there. And it provides energy. All right? What provides energy? Carbohydrates. Okay? So it's looking for the, for, the, for the two benefits. So carbohydrates and lipids, they both provide energy. So you just left out the muscle. So A, not the answer. B, provides protein, which is, which is what you had up there in the justification. And carbohydrates, which, which gives the dog energy. That's right. It didn't say anything about genetic information or any about nu nucleic acids, okay? So that's how you that's how you got to that answer. It provides energy and builds muscle, so all you had to know was your, was your um, functions of the biomolecules. All right, guys, number 11. It's talking about penguins in the cold and blubber and fat, but don't none of that matter, okay? Long-term energy. What gives long-term energy? This is even how we taught it. You don't have to even have to know what type of macromolecule, which is a bunch of fat put together, is blubber made of. What gives long-term energy? Lipids. Carbohydrates, short-term, protein, muscle building, and tissue repair, and, and, and health of the body, nucleic acid, genetic information. Lipids provide long-term energy. So all you had to do, again, was know your function. All right, number 12. It talked about a disease and all that good stuff. But the one word that popped up twice while talking about the disease was enzyme. Enzymes are directly connected to proteins, like we talked about. Enzymes are proteins. It speeds up reaction, okay? Enzymes are proteins, not carbohydrates. The carbohydrates aren't proteins that speed up reaction, okay? So, again, all you had to do was know your function and know how to apply it. That's the secret. You had to know how to apply your functions to, to disseminate or break down these questions, okay? So, enzyme, they threw a lot of stuff in there that's high level, like brain and, and spinal cord and all that stuff. Enzyme was the giveaway words, all right? Enzyme, protein, we good. Didn't say anything about stored energy, quick energy, or genetic information. All right, guys, let's talk about the essay questions. Now, I got you writing. I'm getting you writing. 
So if we're reading this, you're supposed to act like a doctor. You're supposed to go in, like I circled uh, trouble with energy loss. So what biomolecules deals with energy loss? A uh, quick energy loss, uh, energy loss, okay? Uh, that'll be carbohydrates. What heals, what heals tissue, okay? That was your key word, heal. So that's that's uh, protein. And to find out what future diseases that you might give to your child, you have to use genetic information. All right, this was a little bit of a high-level question that you had to pull out. You know what I'm saying? I'm going through reading them now to see who, who pulled everything out. But, but those are the three things that you had to answer. Those are the three things I'm looking for in your uh, in your uh, essay, your short short answer responses that, uh, that I'm looking for. Okay? So... Got to be able to go in there and put out the information and talk about it, all right? Because we're going to do a lot of that in this class. All right. It's really supposed to be question 14, but I messed up on the thing. But anyway, create an Instagram post that covers the four biomolecules. So you at least have to have carbohydrates, lipids, nucleic acids, and proteins. Then what makes them, which is carbohydrates is, is, is saccharized, then nucleic acids is nucleotides, protein is um, uh, amino acids, and, and lipids are fatty acids. So you had to have that in there. Then what is the function of each? And then you had to put it together in an in a Instagram post way. As long as you got that information there, then I'm good with it, okay? At that point, we just had to write about it. Some of you guys drew pictures, which is which is also great, but I got to make sure that the pictures is hitting the information that I'm asking for because I want to be accurate, not just doing a whole lot of uh, uh, drawing that don't even talk about the information that I'm trying to pull out of you, all right? So that's how you should have answered those. All right, guys, let's talk about some of the other factors that might have um, held you back from being successful on this test. Factor number one, a lot of y'all wouldn't focus when we was doing the work. All right? You got to be focused to get what you need because everything I do, I streamline it because from the do now to the, to the last part of the grade cam, you're going to have to understand the whole process because it all links up like a puzzle. All right? So if you fade out and you get to talking or you, you, you get to thinking about something else or you just come in here on your own thing and you don't want to work and you got an attitude about something, you're going to miss what you got to have to be successful. All right? I, I had kids that made, that made 80s and 90s on this test, but the one thing that's consistent between the kids that made from 70s to, to 80s and 90s is they were here mentally thinking about and doing, actually doing the work and, and, and putting together processes. All right? Now, I can get you to wherever you need to be to pass any test that's dealing with biology, but your discipline has to be in place. So you got to be, when I'm talking, you not, all right? When I'm, when I'm explaining instructions, you're listening, all right? So, I, uh, all right, the other thing, the other thing, I told y'all that y'all was going to fight me on the justification system. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all got mad, throwing your pencil down. I ain't doing this. I ain't doing that. Listen, if you looked at the problems that I was giving you, you understand me? How that pink was on, the, on all the problems, that's justification. I'm looking for that. That is justification. It ain't necessarily right now full, complete sentences. I didn't tell y'all that. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted y'all to see how you, was, how you would think about justification by doing it raw before I kind of guided you through on how, how justification really looks. Okay? So... If you're paying attention to the questions and seeing all, like I'm circling the stuff, I'm drawing arrows and doing all that, all that let me know how you was thinking to get derived to the right answer. All right? Now, so we going to justify. Might well get that through your head. We going to justify, oh, I'm not grading the paper, period. I'm just not grading it until you justify. So if you're willing to take the zero, that's what you're going to get. I'm going to give you a zero because the process is not done. I don't care what writing level you are on. You going to write about how you got the answer. All right? We are going to have essays. It's going to be testing here where it's going to be a blank sheet of paper. And I'm going to put one question on the board and say, run it. Tell me everything you know. When we get to that point, we're dealing with 90, 95, 99, 100% pass rating on, on, the, on the star when we get to that point. Now, we can get to that point easy or we can get to that point hard. But the point is, we're going to get to that point, however you want to handle it. All right? So... With that being said, come in here, get the job done, and let's move on to the next section. Now, y'all about to take, y'all about to explain when this video over about this big, uh, this all-year review and tell you the purpose of the all-year review. At that point, we're going to start doing the all-year review every Friday. We're not waiting to the last minute to do nothing. Every Friday, 
all your review from the content. And I'll show you how that's going to look, and I'll show you uh, all of that, uh, how that's going to look and how we're going to implement it. Then we're going to move from there. I'll start showing you how to cheat. Okay, once I start showing you how to cheat, then we'll be dealing with, we'll be cooking with fish grease. All right, let's get to the work. Peace. The breakdown is over. Kusa 100. Every kid in my class will be highly successful. Peace.